you can raise your hand, you can bring up ideas and you're, you're met with a yes and instead of no but. Peter Drucker talks about culture is strategy for breakfast and here at Google we are very proud of, of the Google culture. We even have a word for it, you know, the Googliness that we actually are you know, checking for, for every you know, hire we're making. The Googliness perspective is super important. Yeah. How do you lead and nurture culture? Yeah, I think the culture aspect is super important. For me, my mantra uh, is uh, people first. It's been, it's been what I've been, you know, operating with for so many years now. And what I mean with that, it's really about, for example, in all my meetings, I always start with people first on the agenda, not last, uh, to really highlight. It can be both, you know, uh, new people on the team, uh, updates on the people plan, whatever it is, but to start with that, I think is important. But then it's about, you know, f fostering a culture where people feel that their opinions are valued, even though they might be di different from from most others. Uh, I think that is something that that we work a lot with, and to also, you know, create um, an atmosphere where you feel psychological safe. Mm. Uh, that that you know you can raise your hand, you can bring up ideas, and you you're met with a yes and mm. instead of no but. Mm. Uh, and I think we're really good at that in creating that type type atmosphere. And also at at Google, as you know, we we have we're talking a lot about our three respects. So respect the user, respect the opportunity, and respect each other. And I think. That is a testament to our culture uh, that we all we always want to treat each other with that uh, respect, with the cu curiosity, and and with this helpfulness, uh, and and that is very important for us as leaders to to always have that back on mind and and to to foster and drive that type culture. But I also think that connected to, to our like googly culture, it's also about uh, you know recognizing that great ideas can come from anywhere. Mm. So that it's not just about us as leaders, you know, coming up with all the great ideas, but to also really foster this culture, uh, listening to all Googlers, like and really you know reward when when someone comes with a great idea and let that person try it out. And here it goes back to what you mentioned around psychological safety. Mm. The importance of accepting failures and sometimes even cherishing the failures. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that you know that is also key. If if you're to to have, you know, um, like an, an innovative culture where great ideas can come from ev uh, anywhere, and you really encourage that, you also need to be fine with that. You know, sometimes things are not going well. Uh, to, to rather learn from that and make sure that, you know, we take that forward and we don't do the same mistakes again. Uh, but to be open to failures, but also have like this kill switch so that you see when it's not working. Okay, fine, kill it and then, you know, move on. Mm. Uh, that's what I think uh, is important so that it's not dragging on for too long because then it can be uh, hurtful.